In this video, we are going to review OwnCloud. So for those of you who don't fully know what OwnCloud is, it's a self-hosted open source file sync and share platform, allowing individuals and organizations to run their own private cloud. Think Dropbox or OneDrive, but under your control on your hardware. There are two versions. You have your classic own cloud or own cloud 10 which is a php based foundational release then you have infinite scale which is the newer go based version architected for real-time collaboration and speed now let's have a look at some of the standout features for own cloud so with own cloud you can deploy on premise in cloud or hybrid maintaining complete control over your data it also supports federated sharing, so you can collaborate across trusted own cloud servers. In terms of security and compliance, own cloud offers encryption at rest and in transit, multi-factor authentication and advanced file rules. Infinite scale adds robust architecture separating storage, backend, frontend, great for data governance as well as in terms of security they are compliant for gdpr ccpa hipaa lgpd and ccrf sticking with the infinite scale side of things we have spaces which is built-in project folder structures tailored for team collaboration you also have a web office integration so you can work on documents directly via only office collabora or Microsoft 365. Another great thing with OwnCloud is its broad client and protocol support. So in terms of desktop apps, you're looking at Windows, Mac OS, Linux, and then on the mobile side, we're looking at iOS, Android, and it's also accessible via web dev and browser. Extensions include call dev, card dev, media streaming, and integrations with Dropbox, Google Drive, and Amazon S3. Now let's not forget the enterprise features like admin tools, so LDAP slash AD integration, detailed audit logs, user or group management, branding, document classification, ransomware protection, as well as commercial add-ons available for enhanced scalability and security. Last little note that I want to add on to the section is own cloud is also highly customizable. So you've got themes via CSS, marketplace apps, extensive API support, and you can tailor workflows to suit your infrastructure. Some things that can be a bit frustrating with own cloud is installing and administrating own cloud is not trivial. Server setup, DNS, HTTPS, storage, certificates, it all requires a lot of technical skill. Performance can also lag when dealing with many files or large folders. Indexing and web UI delays are the most common. So who is own cloud for? If you need privacy, control and want to host your cloud infrastructure, work in regulated industries needing full compliance and audit logs, want a platform that scales from DIY home setups to enterprise deployments, OwnCloud is for you. I'd say avoid OwnCloud if you prefer turnkey cloud hosted solutions like Nextcloud or Google Drive. You can't spend time administrating servers or dealing with technical setups, or you just don't have the support team to deal with things like that. You need rock solid mobile performance and low maintenance sync solutions. And that is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.